the next topic that we have to uh, understand is the equilibrium concept in the stable and unstable environment so the los is asking us to distinguish between stable and unstable equilibrium and identify instances of such equilibrium right so they want us to understand what is stable and unstable equilibrium let us see a different kind of supply curve so here this supply curve is not upward sloping it is a downward sloping please note that you can have a downward sloping supply curve right an instance of that downward sloping supply curve is wage okay typically we say that okay the supply of wage is like this as you increase the salary pe more people are more people will pay uh, will work right it is not the case so this is the quantity that is the number of hours you work versus the salary that you get right so typically let's say if you are getting 10 dollar k per hour you may work for 8 hours right but if you start getting 50 dollar k will you work for 30 uh, 20 hours it is not the case right because as you get more and more salary you want a uh, time for leisure or some other activities so people do do not want to work more when they are earning more right so what we see is the wage the supply curve of the wage is like this a downward sloping so at <coughs> high at what happens is at lower wage level people will put in more hours but at higher wage level people will put in lesser number of hours they want to uh, have time for some other activities right so we have a instance of this as supply curve note that here the slope of supply curve is more as compared to the demand curve so here we have this as our one of our curve and we want to know ke okay, how to how the equilibrium is achieved let's say this is our equilibrium point ke okay, this is our, our equilibrium quantity and this is our equilibrium price what happens is because of the changes in the market let's say somehow it happens that the price has become this so this is your price okay the price has become this now i want to know that whether there is a possibility to achieve equilibrium or not think about when the price is become more than the equilibrium so we had seen in the previous case when the price is greater than the equilibrium that means you have excess supply right so the price has to go down okay so price has to go down to achieve the equilibrium right so please note that this is the thing price has to go down to achieve the equilibrium if the price goes down you will achieve the equilibrium correct so you will reach the equilibrium so price is going down you will see that the quantity demanded would increase and you will get into the equilibrium at this price the quantity demanded is lower okay when you decrease the price quantity demanded will increase and you get into the equilibrium similarly what we have is let's say suppose if the price is lower than the equilibrium let's say this is p2 your price is lower than the equilibrium okay what happens is at this point of time you have excess demand so this is the quantity demanded this is the quantity supplied you have excess demand so whenever this price is greater than the equilibrium okay right uh, sorry it's less than the equilibrium whenever the price is less than the equilibrium only thing is that to achieve equilibrium so to achieve equilibrium price has to increase so if the price increases okay it will go to the equilibrium and the, when the price increases you both the quantity demanded and quantity supplied are coming to the equilibrium right so the quantity demanded is increasing and because this is negatively sloped quantity supplied is also decreasing right don't worry about here the thing is focus over here when the price is less than the equilibrium to achieve the equilibrium price has to increase and if you see the price increases you are coming towards the equilibrium when the price is more than the equilibrium to achieve the equilibrium the price has to decrease so when you are decreasing the price will come to the equilibrium right get that is the idea so this type of thing is called as the stable equilibrium because even if you uh, make a slight adjustment it will come and meet the equilibrium right and what happens is this stable equilibrium you will achieve when the supply curve it cuts the demand curve from above okay so if it cuts from above okay so it, this is the demand curve the supply curve will cut from above you will get the stable equilibrium let us see a different type of supply and demand so here what we are seeing is the supply curve is cutting the demand curve from below okay now think about okay we have a case where the this is your equilibrium price and 
this is your equilibrium quantity right let's say the the price is more than the equilibrium this is your price okay your price is greater than the equilibrium right now to achieve the equilibrium so think about it to achieve the equilibrium the price has to decrease right so when you are decreasing the price what happens okay will you be able to achieve the equilibrium so here please note that since the price is greater than the equilibrium quantity supplied okay this is your quantity supplied okay so this is the quantity supplied uh, sorry this is the quantity demanded this is the quantity demanded and this is the quantity supplied correct so we are having okay so if you i made a mistake that time so this is the price okay the quantity demand will come from the demand curve so this is the quantity demanded right so we call that as d1 make sure like we call as d1 and you have the quantity supplied this is the supply at the p1 you will get from the supply curve we have s1 okay now what happens is price is greater than the equilibrium price so the price has to reduce so we'll say that supply is greater than the demand okay that is the idea but what we see over here is that supply is lower than the demand right to achieve the equilibrium right the price has to what we saying is here the supply has to reduce okay ideally we had seen earlier when whenever the price is greater whenever the price is greater we had seen that okay the quantity demanded was more but here what we are saying is supply is less I, ideally we should have supply should be greater than the demand but here we are saying that supply is lower than the demand and if you are decreasing the price okay you are not going to achieve the equilibrium right so what we are saying is this is the case where you should have supply should be greater than the demand but you are seeing the supply is lower than the demand why this kind of thing happen it is think about the gold prices if the gold prices when gold prices are increasing people are demanding more of them okay so gold price let's say think about this is the equilibrium price of gold so this is the gold equilibrium price okay now the price of the gold has increased beyond the equilibrium right but you find that on the contrary to have supply more than the demand you are having supply less than the demand people are demanding more and supply is less it can happen because people are thinking that who are the buyer they think that in the future gold price will increase more okay and the suppliers they are also thinking that people will pay more in the future so they are less reluctant to to they so they are reluctant to supply the gold right as a result you have supply less than the demand right so to achieve the equilibrium what we have is we say that so whenever we have this as the case no, normal we are saying that price should be greater than the when the price is greater than the equilibrium price okay your price should reduce okay and when the reduction happens your supply should reduce okay but what happens is when this equilibrium happens the supply is increasing so you see that when this happens this downward your supply has increased right so to or in the other sense think about it okay maybe like i will just take a step back on this okay let me just take a step back on this and explain to you right so we have this time okay let's say we have a supply curve like this and demand curve like this supply curve is cutting from below it is cutting from below and this is our equilibrium quantity and this is our equilibrium price this is the equilibrium quantity and price now we want to know that what if the price is more than the equilibrium okay so this is your price so we have earlier seen that when the price is greater than the equilibrium it means that supply is greater than the demand and it in it implies that the supply has to reduce this is our premise and we will discuss on this premise that when the price is less than the equilibrium the supply has to reduce so here so price is greater supply has to reduce so you have price is greater than the equilibrium so you have this as the supply right so we have to see that the supply reduces okay now note that when the supply is going to reduce okay what you see is from s1 the supply will move to s2 but 
instead of the price decreasing you find that the price is increasing right so in this particular case when the price is greater than the price equilibrium okay we are seeing that when we are reducing the supply okay we are seeing that the price is increasing rather than decreasing so you are not coming towards the equilibrium you are moving away from the equilibrium you are coming over here right now why it will happen okay so think about when your price was greater than the price equilibrium supply was greater than the demand but here when the price is greater than the equilibrium at p1 you have this is the demand okay your demand is more than the supply okay why it can happen that why people are p demanding more than the supply think about the gold prices okay when the go this is let's say the equilibrium price of the gold okay but what has happened is because now the gold price is more than the equilibrium okay let's say we have this okay there is a more people are demanding the gold and there are less supplier of gold okay it can happen because when your movement of the when the gold is price is greater than the equilibrium because the people who are demanding the gold they think that the gold price will increase in the future here the people are not assessing the value of the gold as per its value but they are thinking that in the future they will be able to sell at a higher price because there will be one fool who will be buying from me at a higher price similarly at this point supplier they are also thinking that in the future there will be some people who will pay more so why should i sell now i will sell some quantity and i will sell more quantity in the future so they are withholding the supply right so supply is less than the demand or demand is more than the supply right this case what happens is people are thinking that price will rise in the future so what happens is the supplier they will further reduce the supply and you find that there is a increase in the there is a increase in the price now one of the thing that we call uh, this happens is because what happens is this is your demand curve and this is your supply curve people shift the demand okay so people shift the demand curve from d0 to d1 they start they are saying that they were pay paying this was this price equilibrium price they are willing to pay a higher price okay and they want more right but at this point what happens is suppliers they will also reduce the supply they will say that i will reduce the supply and they will supply this much quantity so the demand is this okay but the supply is this but the price is at a higher than the equilibrium right so you have seen the demand is more than the supply it is because the suppliers they will reduce the supply because they think that they will sell at a higher price in the future right this result in the price moving more so what will happen is after this the people will again shift their demand curve so from d1 they make it to d2 and the supplier will change it to s2 right so what happens is the quantity demanded k has now changed k it has become more and the price has become more but the supply has reduced so this is the case of unstable equilibrium why unstable because the price will keep on increasing the price will keep on increasing and it is not moving towards the equilibrium so price will increase and move away from equilibrium okay so they will move away from equilibrium so this is what we call as a unstable equilibrium right so what will happen is the price will keep on increasing and we call this as a bubble situation okay this is a bubble situation and then you will find that the bubble will burst right you have seen in the gold prices what happened is the gold price was increasing every time increasing every time but suddenly people will realize that we have moved much away from the equilibrium the price has increase a lot and suddenly you find that there's a decrease in the price and people will find that okay the price has crashed right so you saw that the gold price has decreased in the month of april 2013 okay lot right it is a bubble bursting right so this is what you have is the unstable equilibrium